all right welcome to another vlog guys i know it's been a while um but today i'm in my 2023 civic type r i'm gonna do a quick drive uh, in the mountains we're off but yeah i had this car for a little bit um i know i made a delivery video on this a while back a bunch of biker people here but we're gonna push it a little bit to see how it reacts in front of us so we can't go too crazy but compared to the Civic Si I feel like this is an all-around better car um, I wish it sounded like the Civic Si but obviously you know the newer Hondas will never sound like the older K series or you know B series or any older Hondas but uh, it's a blast to drive the handling is unbelievable I actually used to have a 2018 type R and uh you know I, I love driving that i drove that on this road as well i did some stuff to it which we'll go over in a different video um but as you can see the alcantara steering wheel oem is on as well as the jdm alcantara boot shout out to my wife gave me that boot as a present but right now we're on individual mode with the suspension being on the softer side we will switch to our mode in a little bit to see how it reacts um, I do have a Integra Type S smaller resonator delete underneath the car as well as the exhaust valve fully open. Uh, shout out to the Topher for that exhaust valve video, it was really helpful. I'm going to crank the windows down a little bit, hopefully we don't get too much wind noise, but dying here, so hot. But yeah, I love driving this, uh, reaction is insane, you know, steering suspension everything is literally perfect on the car um, really doesn't need much stock powertrain is pretty good as well for the mountains um, I thought I was in fourth gear over there for a second uh, let me take this take this back up for a little bit but we'll try to do a quick turnaround here and go up the mountain but super fun to drive um, I think Honda did an ama amazing job with uh, with this one compared to the FK8. Although the FK8 did feel a little bit more raw, uh, this does feel a little bit watered down. But the handling is essentially the same thing. Over here, we'll switch to R mode. Let's try to give it a push. down here a little because I saw some deer over here before but it pulls it pulls nice I mean I don't need to go fast I'm not racing anybody but I do love driving in the mountain roads as you can see the beautiful view on her right but our mode the suspension is a little stiff I did add some lowering springs to the car which we'll discuss uh, hopefully let's see if we could do it today if not another video um, but it, the suspension, even with the lowering springs, didn't change the driving dynamics of the car at all. It's equally as excellent as it was factory, which is great. I think there was some deer here before, so let's just watch out a little bit. I, I don't like that sound, the fake sound that Honda placed in the R mode. So individual, I have the engine sound all the way to comfort, so we don't hear it as much. I also have the, as I said, the exhaust, slight exhaust modification. So it's not too loud, it just sounds more or less like the Integra Type S. Let's see what we could do here.
sticking to the road. It's unbelievable. Let's slow down a little. We have people in front of us now. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. It was so hot. Let me to actually turn on the AC. We'll do a little bit of uh, normal driving here as well. Just to get an idea or perspective of how this car reacts. And daily driving, everybody, for the most part, I feel like will be fine. Um, you know, it's this car especially, it's, I don't think it's too stiff, especially in comfort mode. I think it's still livable. Um, I know some people, you know, I guess it depends on the person, but if you have back issues or you don't like, um, you know, to feel every single bump on the road, you might not like this, then Tegra Type S might be a better buy for you. I actually had a blue Integra Type S reserved, um, and then I found this car, and I'm happy I got this, although I believe I would be happy with the Type S as well. It's just a little bit more subtle interior with the, with the uh, touring seats rather than the bucket seats on the Type R. But uh, yeah, I think, I think this is a great time in automotive history. Dri uh, not driving, but obviously we are driving the Type R, but with the Type R being out, as well as the Integra Type S being out, GR Corolla, GR Supra. Um, you know, we got, we got plenty of cars, even, even the Hyundais. We got some sweet stuff out right now. It's pretty awesome. A little bit of normal driving here as you can see car is still relatively quiet even with the resonator delete and this is the smaller resonator that was deleted towards the front of the car it essentially just sits right underneath this area here there's two resonators on this car um, there's a smaller one which they placed as an addition uh, since this is a worldwide platform they had to place that to comply with the uh, with all the worldwide laws. It's cheaper for them to produce one sort of exhaust for the entire world than change it up based on regions. So that's why they did that. But Type S doesn't have that since that's a North America specific car. You know, they have a little bit more leeway to, to have the exhaust sound a bit better. But yeah, this thing has been just incredible. Every time I take it out for a spin, I love it. Um, you know, it's lacking a little bit of soul, but then all the newer Hondas are compared to the older ones. But I think all in all, it's worth it for the upgrade, especially if you're coming from a Civic Si. Um, if you do have an FK8, I'm not sure if it's worth the upgrade because I remember my FK8 back in the day, I got it for around, I think 34,000 uh, bucks, brand new out the door. And these are going for 45,000 now. They just did a little sticker price increase. And we all know in addition to that, there's markups on the car. Unfortunately, this is just today's market. Um, if everybody stops paying the markups, then you know they'll probably eliminate that, but we know that that's not gonna happen. So I ended up paying a markup on this car. I paid 5,000 over. I know a bunch of people had questions um, about it in the last delivery video. But yeah, I ended up paying a markup and I'm the type of person who would never pay a markup for any car. I was always against that. The, my 2018 Type R I got for MSRP and that's the, that's the only car I bought for MSRP in my entire life. Everything else was usually at a discount. But this car, I think it's worth it. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Anybody could get in, drive, um, enjoy driving have fun on the mountain roads and the seats. I love the seats. It's actually re really, really comfortable. Um, and I had people on this car and they said the same as well. So yeah, this was a short drive. Um, hope everybody enjoyed. I know it's been a while since we did the POV driving, but uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens for the future. We definitely gotta come up with a, um, walk around style video and oh the nice CRX back there walk around video and maybe we could describe the modifications and such so thank you guys so much for watching oh it's a nice monastery um, until next time peace